this year I feel like it was different for you in that you're out there the whole year. Um, how do you feel now that you've gone through a, a full season? Yeah, I mean, I uh, hadn't played one in a while, so uh, it was good. Uh, I got 72 games or something like that and uh, felt good, uh, but definitely uh, different uh, playing that many games in a row and, you know, uh, not doing that being in college and stuff like that. It's a little, it's a little learning curve, but uh, I think it was good for me to get at least one of those years under my belt and hopefully I'm able to be more consistent next year and, uh, you know, play all those games again. What were some of the things that you, you wanted to work on or, or wanted to grow on um, in, in this season? And, and how do you feel like that went? Yeah, I think uh, some of the things I just won, one was just playing those games and then uh, just working on like being, like I said, consistent the whole year. I uh, had some moments where, you know, I went cold uh, and as like what I wanted to be this year was one of those point guys, be up there with Tynes and Leas and, uh, you know, drive the offense and, uh, I think there was moments this year where I, I didn't do that and uh, I think that's why I really focused on this year is just being consistently effective uh, in every game and uh, you know it was uh, tough sometimes but uh, I think I did an okay job of it and uh, yeah. with that being said you know getting a chance to play on a line with two you know great offensive players two playmakers like Leas and Tynes you know how does how does that help you grow offensively yeah for sure I mean uh, playing with them is a lot of fun uh sometimes uh you know uh i just gotta get out of the way at points you know and uh get to the net but uh it was fun playing with them i mean they're creatives uh and i like being creative so uh being able to play with them for most of the year was huge uh definitely helped me as player and uh, also just learn from them so uh it was it was it was good uh experience for sure you feel like you this year specifically as opposed to maybe in previous years you're really at home now, like very comfortable here with the group, with the staff. I mean, is, how much does that help just kind of get into a good rhythm? Yeah, I mean, uh, last three years have been awesome. Uh, every year, every time I come to the rink, I feel like it gets to know everybody even better. So uh, it, uh, I definitely feel like this is my home and, uh, you know, always happy to play for the raid. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, to me, an interesting off season, you know, my last year, but I would love to be back here for sure. So, you know, with obviously so many prospects and young guys coming in this year and last year, but players like you and and Turcotte and and Sammy, all these guys came in in that shortened 2021 season. What's the dynamic of that group like, and how have you guys, as still you know young players, prospects, kind of emerged as also leaders in the room? Yeah, I mean, uh, different for everybody. You know, uh, me and Turk especially because we missed a lot of games and uh, had a couple tough couple of years but uh you know we're all a part of this team and big members of this team and i think we're all leaders in our own way uh we might have not have an a or on our jersey or a c but we all lead in different ways and uh you know it's, it's been a it's been a good three years with those guys and i think we're all a big part of this team so it's been another one of those guys is, is dudes um i mean what it's been like you guys are so close, spend a lot of time together. What's it been like to have someone like that where you guys have a good bond? Yeah, I mean, I would consider Dudes one of my best friends. Uh, we got to know each other and even before we got here in Germany and uh, just clicked from there. And it's been awesome, like being around your best friend almost every day at the rink and stuff like that. So uh, for sure. And he's obviously was wearing an A this year and deserved it. He uh, is a true leader and uh, everybody looks up to him guys love him he's a good guy on and off the ice so uh yeah it's awesome what was your reaction when he dropped the gloves in the playoffs um a little nervous for him to be honest <laughs> to be honest just, he hadn't fought before uh but i did say after uh i mean as soon as he dropped his gloves i just jumped off off the bench and was like what's going on but uh he uh i told him after too uh it was a good fight for him i uh, picked a guy around his <laughs> weight class at least he wasn't fighting anybody crazy like middleton but uh I, I was excited for him it was awesome i mean obviously this is you know kind of focusing on this one moment but after that it did seem like i mean even though he didn't he, he got taken down you guys came out and played pretty hard after that I, i'd say the next five 10 minutes, you guys dictated the play after. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, when somebody that is not accustomed to doing things like that, does something like that, it obviously gives you a shot of energy and we were all shocked and surprised about it, but it was something we needed. So uh, when he did it, we were just like, if he can do that, we can do anything. Uh, in the summer, everybody has kind of a, a routine, a plan. 
what what are you doing this year and is it different than than previous years yeah uh, i think i'm going home to arizona i haven't seen uh, or been with my family in a while so be with them and train there and uh just be around my family i think uh the last two years i've been here uh which was amazing and i loved it loved everything about it but thank god uh, it's time for me to step away from the game for a little bit and just you know go home to my roots relax like kind of relearn why i love the game so much so Thank you.